Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. I am people and this is the house of David. I wanted you to be able to put a face to the message. And that message is the house of Saul is Christianity whose founder is Paul. That's why we call it the house of Saul. Get it? And the house of David is Islam. In the Quran, we have a Messiah by the name Prophet Isa. Okay? He is the Messiah of Islam. You're not going to be able to find the Messiah in that New Testament because it's written in the Quran that the Jews and the Christians, the people of the scripture, will only believe in him before his death, indicating they have not believed in him at all, okay? They won't believe in him until the killing of the firstborn. What is that? That is going into Prophet Isa's death. God is going to cause him to die a natural death, okay? Just to prove to the world that God is God and God by himself. He's going to prove to the world also that Jesus is is not God. Now I need you to share this message. Regardless if you agree with everything I'm bringing out, it is advanced. It's advanced. And you have to be able to be studied up in the Bible to be able to see the types and shadows. Okay? I teach types and shadows. And Paul is the fur. A picture of him is Potiphar. A picture of him is is hollow furnace. He is the wolf in sheep clothing that Jesus warned about. And the house of David must take down the house of Saul. Okay? The house of Saul is Christianity. And as it is written, King Saul was a head taller than all the other men. What is that going into? The Apostle Paul, his teachings is like Ahithophel's counsel. His counsel is like the oracle of God. Christianity right now is the largest religion and it has the best rabbi. And that is the Apostle Paul. And my Muslim brothers fail to realize that the house of Saul is what's stopping the house of David from flourishing. Once we tip over the pillars, okay, the cross, once Prophet Isa comes back and descends amongst us as a just ruler, and destroy the cross, then Christianity will completely be destroyed. Now, I need you to push this truth. I want to do so much. I want to do a movie. I want to get this new message out, the new teachings, the types and shadows. I have types and shadows of Joseph. I have types and shadows of Saul. I have types and shadows of Moses. I have types and shadows of Solomon. I have so much that I want to get out and I need you to push this truth right here in the house of David. We have the truth. Now, Muhammad Ali, I learned so much about him. He believed to be the greatest. Now, when I look on YouTube, when I look out my spiritual window, I don't see nobody bringing out the truth about Paul. OK, now there are many people who do believe that Paul is a false apostle, but the stuff that's coming out of the house of David, I'm looking around and I'm not seeing it nowhere. OK, the money is in Paul. OK, just like Benjamin, like that hundred dollar bill, all the money is in Paul. Paul is the missing piece of prophecy that is missing from the puzzle. Many people fail to realize that he is the enemy of God. They fail to realize that he is the wolf in sheep clothing that Jesus warned about. So I am actively every day exposing Paul who came out of the wilderness, whom Jesus warned us about, who proclaimed to be the last messenger. Paul thought he was the Shiloh. Paul wanted to be the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Now I have so much and I have so many videos, but I just wanted you to put a face to this message so that nobody can come out here stealing 
in trying to duplicate what I'm already putting out, okay? This is my copyright right here, okay? I'm not a person that's taking selfies. You don't see my face in a place everywhere like our people putting their face up in these schools every day where I learn from the messenger, the last and final messenger, that is not all about imagery. It's not all about that, okay? But he is the last and final messenger, not me. Okay, but I want you to know that the house of Saul is Christianity and the house of David is Islam and Judah's hands shall be in the neck of his enemies. Just like Judah, her hands was in the neck of her enemy, Hollow Fernandez. Hollow Fernandez, the fur is a picture of your boy, Paul. So share this message, share this truth. Regardless if you fully agree with it, okay, this is the truth. I am fully persuaded. I am fully convinced that this is the truth that needs to get out. Our brothers need to realize Jesus is not God. They need to realize Jesus didn't die and he definitely did not die for your sins. That truth is coming out of the house of David right here. So wake up, my brothers, and share the truth. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and my sisters in this truth.